In this video, I will run through how to get a file in the correct format to import it into Civil 3D as a profile. Using this technique offers us the ability to make custom profiles or to adjust profiles. We can also use the alignment and profile to create a feature line. To get started, I'm going to create an alignment using Create Alignment by Layout. There's nothing special about the alignment I am creating. I'm just using it as an example. I speak more about creating alignments by layout in previous videos. With the alignment created, I'm going to open up the geometry properties to have a starting point for how I want to shape the profile. Click on one of the lines in the view, right click, then click copy all. Now paste what is in your clipboard into Excel. Now I'm going to go through and delete each of the columns that I don't need for this exercise. The only columns that I'm interested in are the type, start station, and end station columns. Now remove all of the special characters from the cells. Bring the end station from the last row to the bottom of the start station column. You can now delete the end station column. I'm now going to go through and rename the attributes in the type column. Lines will be named PT and curves named PC. This makes it easier for me to understand what is going on. The 100 I added will serve as my starting elevation at the PT of the alignment. Now I'm adding blank lines between the PC and PT labels. These will serve as my curve midpoints. I am typing in slopes that my tangent lines will follow as they work their way down the alignment. Using a little bit of math, I calculate the elevation of the next PC. I set the next downstream PT at the same elevation as the previous PC and continue down the rest of the alignment until each of the PTs and PCs have elevations. For the pool entries, I set the station between the PC and PT values. This will set the point at the midpoint of the curve. I set the elevations of these points at a distance below the PC-PT combination. Now I plot the graph to see how everything looks. There is no rhyme nor reason for me creating the profile like I did. It is just for this example. I'm trying to show how versatile this function might be for creating complex profiles. With the stations and elevations set, copy the station and elevation columns into the clipboard. Now paste them into a new sheet in the workbook make sure to just paste the values. Before moving to the next step, I like to widen the columns and center the values in the cells. I've had issues in the past where the import didn't work because of some spacing issues. Now save the file as a .prn. From the folder explorer, change the extension on the file from .prn to .txt. The file is now ready for import into Civil 3D as a profile. From Civil 3D, click Profile in the menu bar. Now click Create Profile from File. Select the newly created profile. Click Open. Ensure that the appropriate alignment is selected from the Alignment dropdown. Select the profile style you want to use along with the profile label set. Now click OK. I will now display the profile in a profile view. With an alignment and a profile, you can now create a feature line that follows the alignment with elevations from the profile by typing create feature line from align in the command line. Select the alignment, then select the appropriate profile. Click OK. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. Thank you for watching.